Hi, it's uh, Craig from Truth, head coach. I'm um, just trying to get a little bit of the sun, which we all should be getting. Um, so, quick video today. It's more to do with um, questions that I've been sent or I often get asked. And I thought it'd be great to tackle right now in a quick video. So I often get asked when I go more on a low carbohydrate diet, which I'd probably say is below 50 grams of carbs a day, or 5% of your, your total energy uh, consumption, where am I gonna get my energy from? Which is a great question. Now, I'm just gonna quickly break down uh, a few things so you sort of get it, all right? So, so there's a thing called uh, amino acids, okay? Which are basically your proteins. Um, and then a thing called essential amino acids. So essential amino acids are amino acids we need to eat that we can't make, all right? And then from there we can make other amino acids. So essential amino acids we need to consume. Uh, same with fatty acids. They're the thing called essential fatty acids that we need to eat that we can't make, so we need to get them. Now, when it comes to carbohydrates, which mostly breaks down into glucose, unless we're talking about fructose, which is a slightly different process, um, the body uh, does not need to consume carbohydrates to break it down to glucose. The reason being is a thing called gluconeogenesis. Basically, what it means is making glucose from non-carbohydrate sources, from your proteins and fats, all right? So, glucose, carbs aren't essential. Your body can make them if you get the other materials, all right? So when you're in the low carb, you will have glucose, okay? Hopefully that makes sense. And then keep training hard, thanks. Also, uh, I'll be doing my webinar on Wednesday, next Wednesday at 11 a.m. So hopefully you can join. And if you've got any questions like what I've just gone over now, pop them to me, all right? And I'll try and do my best to answer the best I can. All right, I'll see you there. Bye-bye.